What's up guys, this is Shivain and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that your mouse is lagging or flickering in Windows 10. Now it doesn't matter if you have a Bluetooth mouse or a wired mouse but in most cases this problem occurs in a Bluetooth mouse and in this video we'll discuss how to solve that issue. I have a lot of solutions ready so let's just get right into it. But before we begin with the video I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related problems then just comment down below or email us and we'll make a solution video for you guys cause this video is also viewers request. Now let's begin with the video. So before we begin with the specific software solutions to this problem. I would just like to request you guys to try and changing the USB port for your Bluetooth adapter or your wired mouse and check whether it works in any other port because your port may be faulty. Another thing that I would like you guys to try out is restart your PC a couple of times and check whether that fixes your problem. And also the last thing I'll request is updating your windows to the latest version. To do that just go to your windows search and then search for windows update. And once you open up Windows update settings, just check for any updates that might appear on the screen and if you have any updates then just install them. Now the first solution to this issue is changing your power management options in device manager. So just go to your device manager by going to windows search and then searching for device manager. Once you open up device manager then open up the universal serial bus controllers. After that, you will see a lot of options in this Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Right click on each one of them and then go to Properties. And then go to Power Management option and in Power Management, make sure that you uncheck allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Then save your changes and do this for all the Universal Bus Controllers displayed in the list. After that, restart your PC and check whether this fixed your problem. The next step is updating your mouse drivers in device manager. So this one is quite tedious but you guys stay with me. The first thing you have to do is go to your mice and other pointing devices in device manager and then you'll find a lot of options in this list as well. Now select each item of this list. For example, I have two items HID compliant mouse. So I'll demonstrate by doing it with one of them. Just right click on it and then go to uninstall device and then click on uninstall. After uninstalling this then just click on the action tab and then click on scan for hardware changes. After this whichever driver that you uninstalled just now should appear back in the list. If it doesn't then just restart your PC and it will appear back. As windows will automatically download it when you delete it after you restart your PC. Now. Just go to that same device again and this time go to update driver and then select search automatically for updated driver software. After the process finishes then restart your PC and check whether you, it fixed your problem and you have to do this for all the mice and other pointing devices which you have on your computer. If it did not fix your problem don't worry. Again in mice and other pointing devices go to update driver. But this time select browse my computer for driver software and then let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Then make sure that you check show compatible hardware and then just install the first model in the list shown to you. For me it is the HID compliant device. Then just click on next and install. After you install this and do this for all the mice and other pointing devices. Just restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. If your problem is still not fixed, what you can do is manually download your mouse drivers from your manufacturer's website. So for example, if you have a Logitech's wireless Bluetooth mouse, then just go to their website, select the model and download the drivers directly from their website. Then just install it by following the installation wizard, restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. Now. The next set of solutions is updating your display adapter drivers. So just go to your display adapter in your device manager and then if you have one display adapter you can just do it for one display adapter but if you have two like me you have to do this for both of these. 
Now you can skip this step if you want but it worked for some people so I'll just show you what you have to do. You have to do the exact same thing that you did with your mice and other pointing devices. So just right click on your display adapter then go to uninstall device and if it shows you a warning do not check delete the driver software for this device and then click on uninstall. After that just go to your action tab and click on scan for hardware changes. Or you can restart your PC to bring your display adapter back to the list. Now you have to do the exact same things that we did with mice and other pointing devices. So I'm not going to show you this again. You just have to go to your update driver and then try out the two methods. And you can try manually downloading the display adapter drivers from the manufacturer's website. Now let's move on to the next set of solutions. So for the next part, again in device manager, go to your mice and other pointing devices and for each one of the devices in here, just right click and then go to properties and then go to driver. And if you have this rollback driver option available, as you can see, it is grayed out for me. But if you have this available, then just roll back your driver to the previous version and check whether it fixed your problem. Now for the next solution, just go to your Windows settings and you can do that by going to Windows search and then searching for settings. In Windows settings, go to devices, then go to mouse and then locate the scroll inactive Windows option and then disable it and re-enable it. And do this a few times and check whether the issue is resolved. Next thing you can do is again in the mouse settings. Go to additional mouse settings. In additional mouse settings, go to pointer options and then in select as pointer speed, make sure that you set it to a good value and check enhance pointer precision. Also while you're here, just uncheck hide pointer while typing, then click on apply to save changes and check whether it fixed your problem. Now for the next part, just go to touchpad and then uncheck leave touchpad on when a mouse is connected and do this a couple of times and after you do this then in your windows settings just search for troubleshoot settings once you open up troubleshoot settings just scroll down until you find bluetooth then just go to the bluetooth troubleshooter and follow the troubleshooter steps displayed on your screen then after you finish restart your pc and check whether it fixed your problem now the next step is in settings, just search for notifications and actions and then in the notifications and actions tab, just uncheck that is unenable get notifications from apps and other senders and then uncheck show me windows welcome experience after updates and get tips, tricks and suggestions as you use windows. Also right click on your taskbar and then go to task manager. In task manager, just go to the processes tab and in processes tab scroll down until you find Cortana. Once you find Cortana just click on it and then end task. And then check whether it fixed your problem. Now we are only at the last few steps of solving this issue. So next you have to disable your Nvidia high definition audio drivers or Realtek high definition audio drivers. As many people reported that this was the problem and the cause of this issue. So in order to fix this, just right click on your taskbar and then go to task manager. Then in the details tab, just scroll down until you find Realtek high definition audio manager. Now in my case, I don't have the Realtek drivers, but the smart audio drivers installed on my Lenovo laptop. So. In this case, I'm going to display this problem using the smart audio drivers. So just select it and then click on end task and check whether it fixed your problem. If this did fix your problem, then you can just go to the startup tab and then find the Realtek audio manager or the smart audio and then just disable it so that you don't have to end this task again and again each time you run the PC. Now, if you have a NVIDIA graphics card on your PC, then you can follow the next step as well. So just go to your Windows search and then search for control panel. In control panel, go to uninstall a program. 
and then scroll down until you find GeForce Experience. If you cannot find GeForce Experience, you can skip this. But if you have GeForce Experience installed, then just click on it and then click on uninstall. Once you uninstall the GeForce Experience application, then you go to the device manager and then in device manager, just go to sound, video and game controllers. And hopefully, what will happen is that you will see a new sound controller here known as NVIDIA High Definition Audio. Then just right click on it and then click on Disable Device. I'm displaying this step using the Intel Display Audio, but you have to do this for NVIDIA. Now the last two steps to fix this issue is first going to your control panel. So just go to your control panel by going to Windows Search and then searching for Control Panel. Then search for power options. Once you open up power options, then select change what a power button do. After that, click on change settings that are currently unavailable and then uncheck turn on fast startup. Then save your changes, restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. And the last option to fix this issue is basically going to command prompt and trying out some commands. So just go to your Windows search and then search for command prompt. Then right click on it and then click on run as an administrator. After you run your command prompt as an administrator, I'll mention these commands down in the description below for you to check out. These are the DISM commands and the SFC scan now command. So first run the DISM commands in order of check health scan health and then restore health and then sfc space slash scan now and what these commands do is that they automatically search your pc for any corrupted or missing files and if there are then they just automatically install them for you so these commands are very useful to fix any issues that you have on windows after you run these commands then restart your pc and check whether your problem is fixed so these were all the solutions that i had now if you're also on a bluetooth mouse then what you can do is try to change your mouse frequency and check whether it fixed your problem. Also you can try connecting the mouse receiver in a USB 2.0 port and disconnect all the other USB devices. And finally you can try to update your BIOS as well. So I hope this video helped you guys and if it did then just consider giving us a like and subscribe to the channel and comment down that it helped you and if it didn't help you then just comment down or email us your problem and detailed explanation of what is happening with you and we can try to solve it and make a special video for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.